Mr. Buffett, my name is Bill Ackman. I'm from New York City. And my question relates to the appeal of Solomon Brothers as an investment. Um, you talked earlier about uh, leverage and the dangers of leverage. Solomon is a business which is levered 30 to 1, which has very narrow margins and earns a relatively modest return on equity in light of the amount of leverage that they use. What is the appeal of the business um, to you? We have here today the uh, chief executive of Solomon Inc., the parent company, and, and also the chief executive of Solomon Brothers, the investment banking uh, arm. And uh, uh, I would say one of the things we, Charlie and I, feel extraordinarily good about are, are the, uh, the two fellows that are running that operation. We, they they, they uh, did an exceptional job under extraordinarily difficult circumstances, as did John McFarlane, who's all, also here today. Uh, the, the three of them, I mentioned four people in the annual report, and uh, Solomon wouldn't be here today uh, without uh, those three, and, the, and it wouldn't be the company in the future that it's going to be without them. And they, they, they did an absolutely fabulous job. It's the sort of business that, as you point out, uses a lot of leverage. It doesn't, in one way, it doesn't use as much as it looks like, and in another way, it uses even more than it looks like. Uh, uh, but it, uh, the test will be, A, whether they uh, control that business in a way that that leverage does not prove uh, dangerous, and secondly, what kind of returns on equity they, they earn uh, while using it. You certainly should expect to earn somewhat higher returns on equity when you are necessarily exposed to a small amount of systemic risk and, 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 and significant amounts of borrowed money than you would in, in, in a business that's, uh, that's an extremely plain vanilla business. But uh, I don't know whether you've met uh, uh, Bob and Derek, but uh, uh, I think you'd feel better about having a leverage in their hands than about any other hands you can imagine. Charlie? Why don't we have those three gentlemen stand up? Yeah, you ought to give they them really a hand. They really have done a job yeah. for uh, Berkshire in this yeah. last year. I'll leave the applause for them. <laughs> <laughs> where, where are they? There they are. I mentioned this before, but I, I, it's worth mentioning again. Derek took on the job of being the operating head of Solomon Brothers on on, uh, what, August 18th, 1991. Uh, he didn't know what, he couldn't know what he was getting into exactly. Uh, he, uh, two months later or three months later, we never had a conversation about compensation. He did not ask me for Berkshire or my guarantee of, for indemnification because he's walking into unknown legal problems. We didn't know what the, we would finally uncover. And he worked, uh, uh, incredible hours to keep that place together, which was not easy. Bob Denham, I called, uh, I guess, on the 23rd or so, 20th, called him on a Friday, I got home on a Saturday, the 24th of August. He was living a nice, pleasant, peaceful life in uh, California and uh, had a first-class law firm, good group of clients wife uh, had a good job there, and uh, I told him I was in a mess, and there wasn't any second choice, and three days later, he was back in New York and living in a small apartment in Battery City and, and, uh, and handling the general counsel's job at, uh, at, at Solomon. They found John McFarlane on that Sunday uh, on the 18th. I think he was running in a triathlon or something. Not a practice that Charlie and I follow, but... Uh, <laughs> They, and he was yanked from that and came down, and uh, I think John lives over in New Jersey, but he holed up in the downtown athletic club, and he, it was his job to keep funding what was then a $150 billion balance sheet uh, during a period when people right and left were canceling us, not because we weren't a good credit, but because they just didn't want to have anything to do with us for a while. And uh, the World Bank and the State of Texas Pension Fund and CalPER, all these people were were shutting off funding at a time, and, 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 and funding in a business, as the gentleman just indicated, is the lifeblood of, a, of an enterprise like uh, Solomon. And uh, so those three uh, 
deserve an enormous uh, hand, by, really by the Solomon shareholders, but by this group in turn, because we have an important investment in it. So I thank them publicly.